as I mentioned before in a, in a short we put here on YouTube, <clears throat> we had a portable solar panel disaster recently in the desert. We're going to go over the details, do a quick test on the panels, and even uh, what happened <laughs> and what might have been able to avoid this disaster, this portable solar panel disaster. So stay tuned and here we go. Okay, so I'm getting a better look at this poor solar panel now. You see the one uh, is just, the one panel is just completely obliterated. These are 100 watts each, so it's two 100 watt panels put together. But this thing is just obliterated, and clearly this side took the brunt of the impact when it came back down. So it's all still in place except for a few bits of glass that have fallen out, but obviously. This is going to very significantly affect the amount of sunlight that gets through to the photovoltaic panels uh, in the back there behind the glass. And of course, it's going to continue to follow out. So this is going to have to just be retired and moisture and dust will get in there. So the other panel, uh, the one that did not hit the ground first or as hard, <laughs> um, it, it's not smashed like the other side is. There is some damage to the glass, though. This here is actually a scrape in the glass. That's not coming off. And on this side, there's a few spots like this where, again, it's actually dug up the glass. And I think up here is another one. This is actually a like a star crack, a chip. So this or this is a chip. So this glass uh, isn't broken yet, like on the other side. But it's also but it is weakened. Uh, and this is tempered glass on these things, so it's kind of heavy, kind of solid, but, you know, it can be broken. So what happened, and how could this have been avoided? All right, so we had a lot of wind, as you saw in the clips. This, uh, it was a pretty ridiculous wind, and it had been going on for, we were on the third day of it. We already had two full days of it blowing like this. We were leaving in the morning, and it was supposed, because it was supposed to be settling down in the morning. That didn't happen. It was still blowing. Anytime you get portables, you got to watch out because they can they can get blown over in the desert wind. I know people have had it happen. This thing is so heavy, frankly, 30-something pounds, I think, that it had never offered to move. And so what I would do is I would always just turn it so when the wind was blown, so that it was facing into the wind. So the wind kind of passed over like the spoiler on a sports car, you know. Never had a problem with it. That's what we'd done this time as well. I also had it tucked in close to the trailer. So we weren't getting as much sun on it as we might have, but it was catching the afternoon sun and all was good until apparently overnight we had a rogue wind gust come in. The wind had been blown out of the west. That's how the panel was positioned to keep it safe for the wind coming from the west. This one came out of the north. It literally picked up this panel that, like I said, weighs 30 some odd pounds and threw it yards across the desert where it came down on its face. What could have been done differently? Uh, aside from the fact we never had a problem before, so I thought we were safe with the way I had it positioned. Basically, what I, the two things I've done before is there's legs on them, and I've put rocks on the legs before. I don't think that would have helped in this case because the wind was so strong. They just would have tipped off and blown away, anyways, I think. The other thing to do, I could have staked it and used like uh, tethers to connect it to stakes to hopefully hold it down. The catch with that is... It's, it's hard to get decent stakes in the ground in the desert because it's all rocks. In this area, it's all rocks and sand. So it's hard to get a good stake in. But even if you could, you have to move the panel several times a day to get good sun on it. So you're kind of limiting yourself uh, as far as getting sun. So <clears throat> the best thing I could have done, given the wind conditions, was to put this thing away at night since we were going to be leaving in the morning anyways. But I thought it was safe. So we're going to get a little more solar power out of it. It's a risk if you got portable solar panels that they can get blown away. These things are heavy, but they're also like a sail if the wind does get under them. So it's certainly something to think about um, that, again, if you're relying on these things, you're going to need to, any kind of portable panels, you're going to need to turn them several times a day to follow the sun to get maximum power in. And if you have to stake them down or weight them down, that makes them difficult to turn. It does have an uh, inexpensive... Uh, PWM solar charge controller mounted on it that I'm going to remove because I can recycle that, have it on hand for our existing systems uh, 
case of a, of a failure with the MPPT controller I have in there. But yeah, this this isn't going to hold up long, and it's not something I want to keep around because it's going to fail. They're still putting out voltage right now, but it's going to fail fairly soon. It's going to get moisture and dust in there, and the glass is going to continue to fail. And then I'm going to have glass falling off as well as the panel eventually failing from stuff getting in there to the PV cells that are not waterproof. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how tough is the glass on solar panels, and it is tempered glass, and it's pretty tough. This one's damaged, but not like this one, of course. This took the brunt of it, you know, spots like this, and probably this was the worst of it right here and then there. But the thing is, it actually still, almost all of the glass actually stayed in the panel, and it took a lot of impact, a lot of energy for that to happen. So I've had solar panels on the roof of my van that we were just getting pounded with crazy dime-sized hail, and I was worried about the panels, and they held up just fine. It's possible for them to to break, uh, but they're pretty tough. So this is our story anyways of our solar panel disaster. It happens. I knew we were taking a risk, but I thought we had it mitigated by the way I had the thing positioned. It was the rogue gust that, that got us. But putting it away would have been the safest thing. But, you know, if you need the power, that's kind of a problem still because you need the power, and we were out boondocking. I don't have an easy answer there as far as how to handle that. If if you need the power and your roofs and portables, you're gonna have. To, I guess you're gonna want to find a way to secure them uh, to the ground, or you just have to risk that this. Understand this could happen, uh, even if you've got maybe some weights on it or something, and and uh, the wind catches it right, it could fly, even if it's heavy, like this one is. Again, this is a flex solar 200 watt portable combo panel. Um, I think this would have happened to any panel that took that flight and landed on the rocks like it did. So uh, I don't think it's a defect in the panels. It just was the wind just caught it right, and and uh, that's that's what happened. Hope you found some value in this video. If nothing else, hope you found some entertainment in this video as I showed you how not to manage your portable solar panels in a windstorm. Don't trust that just because they're facing into the wind, it's going to be safe because that rogue wind gust can mess it up. These little control boxes this is where the power comes out of the panel the individual photovoltaic cells are all soldered together and joined together and then they come out through here exists the wire here is actually coming in from the other panel joining them together and then this one is going out to either the charge controller or to an outlet for like a portable battery power station depending on what you're doing with the panel at the time but they're joined together here and so there's your your uh positive on the side, negative on this side. And it is actually a weather sealed box, which uh, surprised me. But this is uh, this gasket in here would help keep moisture out of this control box on the panel. Uh, the, I do not believe the solar charge controller itself is waterproof though. So I always, you know, made a point to make sure it didn't get really rained on very much.